Right. This is what we have tonight. This is what they're going to face tonight and what they have to uh, vote on. Um, we have Fetty Wap, Trap Queen against Madonna, American Life. Now, I'm going to make a prediction here as to what I think the outcome will be based on the people that come in. And I think this is a difficult one. Because Madonna's American Life has a really bad rap in it. But Fetty Wap is very whiny. So you got whiny versus rap. And we're talking about like a woman in her 50s trying to rap. Um, dressed in like an, an army outfit. Um, if I was to guess, I would say... I would predict Fetty Wap will go through um, just for being more annoying. Um, the next one is uh, I don't think it's, it's no competition here. Lolly's going through. I just uh, that's my prediction. My prediction is Lolly will go through very easily against Elton John's Nikita. This is the thing. Um, Elton John's Nikita is not the most annoying song that Elton John's even released. Elton John's released a lot more annoying than Nikita, I reckon. Um, Crocodile Rock would be more annoying, I think. Um, Rihanna work against Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On. Right. Now, this is another hard one to predict because people hate Celine Dion and especially My Heart Will Go On because it seemed to be in the charts for about a year. Whereas Rihanna's work it's just another one of these whiny songs. It's like it's like one of those ones where they've got Rihanna at like half eight in the morning, and they've asked her to just sing something, and she, she hasn't even opened her mouth yet. You know, like that. It's um, I don't know. If I was, if it was me. I would say Rihanna is more annoying than Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On. This is the thing. I think, if you look, right, I think, well, uh, to me, um, I'm going by what I find more annoying rather than I hate the song. It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to put it as in a way like, um, uh, what would I rather listen to under duress for an hour in a cell by myself? Uh, hold on a second. I would prefer to be in, let's say like, let's say you're in Guantanamo Bay and you're getting tortured by a song. I think I would prefer to be tortured by Celine Dion's song than that. I think that could drive me into confessing everything. Um, rather than my heart will go on. That, in my opinion, if I was if I was to pick, I would pick Rihanna's. Right. I'm kind of glad these two are against each other, um, because it means I'm getting rid of one of them. Um, Crazy Frog acts left against the Cheeky Girls, the Cheeky Song. Both of them are terrible. Um. Different, I think the difference is right. Crazy Frog is awful but competent in that if you didn't have the bit where he goes, no, 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 out there, uh, it would be inoffensive and fine. The Cheeky Girls with the Cheeky Song is awful and terrible at the same time. And is really bad. And has really bad auto-tune. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, Crazy Frog. Well, we don't know that yet. <laughs> the night is young for Lemba Opic. Um, he dumped Sean Lloyd, the weather girl, for, for um, one of the cheeky girls. Crazy Frog makes you angry. Cheekies is just silly. 
Uh, I I reckon the populist vote will go for the crazy frog. Is what I reckon. People will vote for the crazy frog as more annoying. Um, the next one is a bit kind of biased towards me. Um, because it's St. Winifred's School Choir, Grandma, We Love You, against J Lo's Get Right. Now, J Lo's Get Right is one of the songs I picked in my worst top 10 because I find it very annoying. Now, I reckon because, um, St. Winifred's School Choir is. It's that sort of catch. It's like that. It's like it's cool to hate it because of the shit, you know. Um, I reckon some Winifred School Choir will probably, you know, get a lot of votes. Um, dip and dip against M M and M's ass like that. Now this one is different because there's actually a couple of people that like dip by dip. For whatever reason. Um Eminem's ass like that is awful. Um some of Eminem's songs are good. This is not that. This is Eminem's is it 2004 to 2006 stage where his uh star had fallen off the map, shall we say, and he be a dross like this where he um is it's singing in an Indian accent and this is supposed to be funny and it's not and like Keith Allen did that about five years previous with Fat Les remember that Naughty Goblin in the Office that should be in the Annoying Song Contest as well but nobody really remembers it um the next one is Richard Marks right here waiting against Baby Bird's You're Gorgeous? A couple of songs where people would think, oh, why are they in it? The um, reason why Baby Bird You're Gorgeous is in it is because um, my girlfriend Linda hates it. Hates that song. Right here waiting, on the other hand, she loves. <laughs> and she has it on her phone in the car when she, she plays right, Richard Marks right here waiting. Uh, but if there's more men in tonight, then women, I would say Richard Marx will go through because Baby Bird is still this is the thing, Baby Bird is one of those like oh it's an, uh, the, the, the song's awful but his other songs people like so they'd give him a free pass which is why I think Richard Marx will go through Jive Bunny Swing the Mood, E17 Stay Another Day I'm conflicted about this one as well because E17, E17 Stay Another Day, I bought on CD. Don't at me, I'm, I was 14. And I, I quite liked it um, at the time. You know, at the time. At, time, is, time is of the essence. And my time in 1994 was I liked Stay Another Day. <laughs> Nowadays... It's not so good, but it, up against Swing the Mood by Jive Bunny, which gets played at every person's fucking wedding. Um, it's lazy. It's not even well mixed. It has an annoying rabbit. Um, I, I, I don't have a soft spot for Stay Another Day, but I still reckon Jive Bunny will go through. This on the other hand, but this is d too difficult for me to predict. Baha men who let the dogs out against Chico and it's Chico time. Both awful. Um, again, Chico is in that sort of cheeky girls category in that it's silly. You know, it's, it's one of those silly songs. Whereas Baha men is annoying. So on that, I would say the Baja men will beat Chico. Um, Salento watch me whip against steps 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, Baja men. Hello, we're all sorts. Baja men's going, yeah. I reckon my opinion is that Salento 
You, you don't think you've ever heard Chico. It's Chico time. It's erotic exotic. He says that when, he, when he's dancing with eight-year-olds. Um, Salento watched me whip against steps five, six, seven, eight. Uh, it'll be Salento. I can't imagine steps will get many votes against that. Um, this, these are just my predictions of what I think will go through. So at the minute, I am guessing Fetty Wap, Lolly, Celine Dion, Crazy Frog, The Winifred School Choir, Eminem, Richard Marks, Jive Bunny, Baha Men, Salento, and then the Wool Packers, because <laughs> it's because DNA's Tom Denner shouldn't really got through, but it was up against something else that wasn't that annoying either. But uh, Linda hates Tom's Diner because she hates. This is the thing, Linda hates Tom's Diner from DNA, but she likes Suzanne Vega, and she has seen Suzanne Vega in concert, so she likes it. But she hates that song. So that's what she thinks anyway. Um, but she hates Tom's Diner. Um, Barbara Gaskins, it's my party is against Cher Lloyd's Swagger Jagger. There's no competition here. There, there's absolutely no comp. The Cher Lloyd Swagger Jaggers get through. I, I know this is the people, people have come to my stream on the top of the pop streams. Don't like it's my party by Barbara Gaskin because it was like um. <laughs> uh, no, she wouldn't come on the stream at all. Um, yeah, Barbara Gaskin, she, it's my party. Um, it's because she was at four weeks at number one in 1981. And as well, I think she appeared on like two episodes before it even got to number one. So we had like six weeks of it's my party. I think people got sick of it. Right. Um, James Blunt, You're Beautiful, against Johnny Hits Jazz, Turn Back the Clock. This is another difficult one to predict. Um, I reckon not many people know Johnny Hits Jazz, Turn Back the Clock. And I think people won't vote for it because it's dull and boring rather than annoying to me. It's just, it's like, you know, Radio 2, 1998. I think James Blunt will go through just by default because people remember it more. Um, Russ Abbott's atmosphere against you before he's read red wine. It's you before he read red wine all day long. Um, because Russ Abbott's awful, but it's funny in a sort of ironic kind of way. And people don't like you before they. Um, that leaves us with two left, which is Techno Heads, I Want to Be a Hippie against DJ Otzi's Hey Baby. Um, this, is a diff this is a difficult one. This is probably the most difficult to predict. DJ Otzi's bloody terrible. But te Techno Head is annoying. It's because of the difference between most, it's like, the terrible song contest against the annoying song contest. The, the more annoying song is I Want to Be a Hippie, technically speaking. But if we're talking on a technical level, um, I Want to Be a Hippie is, is more annoying than DJ Otzi. Um, but I still reckon DJ Otzi will get through. And then um, Sack Noel with Look at People against Scorpion's Wind of Change. 50 50 on this it's it's annoying techno against kind of soft rock um i can't it's too hard to predict because i think people don't know lock of people from from sack noel and whenever they hear it they might change their mind because they they probably know even though it's an older song, they probably know Wind of Change more than they know Lock of People. Uh, Lock of People's novelty, Scorpions is not. If I had to guess, I will think 
block of people will get through. I reckon. So, right. I am going to green these, right, as to what I think. I will be playing a bit of it again, yeah. Uh, so, what I reckon will happen, Betty Wap will go through. Lolly will go through. Lean Dion will go through. Crazy Frog will go through. St. Winifred School Choir and Eminem will go through. Uh, Richard Marks will go through. Uh, oh, there's like all these. There's four in a row. We'll go through here now. There. Um, Cher Lloyd will get through. James Blunt will go through. Red Red Wine and DJ Otzi will go through. And I think a lot of people by the skin of its teeth will get through. This is what I reckon. This is what I reckon will happen tonight. You can see tonight if my predictions are correct or incorrect. But that's what I reckon will happen. Um, there is there all, all the voting will be tonight. There will be no outside voting at all. Um, as well, I've figured this out in myself. Um, I have the casting vote. So... So what will happen is if the vote is 50-50 on the night, I will cast my vote and I will pick the song that will go through because it's my channel. <laughs> so if Rihanna against Celine Dion is a 50-50 and I have the cast and vote, I will probably vote for Rihanna because I find it more annoying. Uh, so that's probably going to put people off now and they're going to vote everything on Celine Dion. <laughs> I am head judge. I am, I am, what do you call that guy? I don't even watch it. He's left now, isn't he? Bruno Tonioli. There's a Craig Revel horror with him with the shiny face. Um, but that's what I reckon is going to happen tonight. So, I am going to go now. Um, there is three hours to go until the quarterfinal. And we will see what will happen. So join me at seven tonight. Where you will see all 32 of these songs again. In one minute format. And my own 16 choices. So, um, is there anybody on that I can read? No, I don't have many people anyway. Is there any point? Is there anybody with one? Our team makers on. Right, we'll, we'll just read him. He's only got two people. Do you rightly. Right. There we go. One viewer, two viewer. That, that's doubling. That's doubling his viewers. Four viewers, even better. Four viewers, good enough. Right. I'll see you at seven, everybody. See you at seven. Bye bye now. Bye bye. <clears throat>